Hello, my name is Prime, and welcome back to Prime News. And today, SCS Software released another blog post on the 1.51 update for American Truck Simulator, this time talking about the expansion of the dynamic loading and unloading feature. As per usual, I will have the link for the blog post down in the description below. That is where you can find the 15 brand new screenshots and the information I'll be summarizing. Released in update 1.50 alongside the Nebraska DLC, the dynamic loading and unloading feature revolutionized the way us ATS players could load our own grain hopper trailers at select custom depots within the Nebraska DLC. And in the 1.51 update, this feature will be expanding. So not only will we be able to load and unload our ownable grain hopper trailers within the Nebraska DLC at the custom depots, we'll also be able to utilize this feature in the custom depots of the Kansas DLC and the upcoming Arkansas DLC, as well as other prefab depots that are across the entire ATS map. In my opinion, this is huge news and a great step in the right direction for having the loading and unloading of our trailers much more realistic. But that's not all, because on top of the ownable grain hopper trailers, SCS Software is going to include the ability to dynamically load the ownable chip van trailers, where we can load wood shavings or cotton seeds. This loading feature will be found in the custom depots within Arkansas, as well as the prefab depots across the ATS map as well. Now you may be wondering, well Prime, you keep saying loading in terms of the chip van trailer, and there is a reason why I'm doing so. In the 1.51 up Update for the chip van trailer alone, we will only be able to load the trailer dynamically, not unload. The expanded functionality, which will include other types of cargo as well, haulable within the chip van trailer, will be coming in the future. So for now, with the chip vans, we'll be able to load it, but not unload it dynamically. Comment down below what you think about this dynamic loading and unloading feature, and how excited are you to be able to try it out, and also what other trailer type should come next in the dynamic loading and unloading feature. Honestly, I would be very intrigued to see how a flatbed and drop deck trailer could be used within ATS for dynamic unloading and unloading, but that's just my opinion. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.